When Suzanne Summers was stricken with breast cancer and had a lumpectomy more than a decade ago, she refused to have breast reconstruction surgery, believing that medical research would at some point lead to a better way to restore her body. Well, that day came this summer when the Hollywood star and medical activist underwent a cutting-edge treatment called stem cell breast reconstruction. Here is the final segment of Newsmax Health's exclusive interview with Suzanne in which she explains how the stem cell option can be available to all women. So if the average American woman wants to have stem cell breast reconstruction, what can she do? What are the options in this country right now and does health insurance cover it? Right now, they can get in on my clinical trial at Hollywood Presbyterian Hospital. So they could either call Hollywood Presbyterian or they could call Dr. Joel Aronowitz. And if they get in on this clinical trial before they close it, they can get it done for free. When this clinical trial is closed, uh, because of, of the fact that it will have been a success, then uh, hopefully then it will be standard of care and then insurance will pay for it. So I see it as a win-win. Suzanne, for many years, scientists have said that stem cells hold the, po hold the promise to cure many diseases and save lives, even correct defects that we are born with, such as the type of congenital heart defect that took the life of your Three's Company co-star, John Ritter. Do you think that stem cell science is finally living up to its promise? Stem cell science will live up to its promise if allowed to progress. And I know that the doctors in this country are itching to be able to use it. And everyone is afraid because they don't want um, the authorities to come down on them. So that's why, to me, my procedure is so important. I, I have a louder voice. I am able to get out in the media and in the Internet and talk about this. And when the masses want something, they can make enough noise to get it um, to happen. And I think that's what's going to happen. Women, when I tell women about this, their jaws drop and they can't believe this is available. This is beyond breast cancer. This is if you just want bigger breasts, you could also do this protocol. And it probably will have a negative effect on implants in the future. But implants um, have a lot of uh, inherent problems uh, with them, with leaking and moving and, and uh, uh, infections and things like this. Putting my stem cells in my breast, I cannot reject me. And that is why I've had no trouble with this at all. It's just like my stem cells went, oh, we're up here now? Okay, great. So uh, it's quite a remarkable thing. And I hope that stem cell um, protocols become the way of medicine. And I really believe, I was speaking with a futurist, Ray Kurzweil, and he said in the next 13 to 15 years that stem cell protocols and nanotechnology will be the way it's done and the present paradigm of medicine will change completely. The catch is you have to get there healthy. You can't limp into it. And so all these steps that people are taking today for their health, the way they eat, the way they sleep, the, may, the way they manage their stress, the way they avoid chemicals and eat organic food and avoid pharmaceuticals unless absolutely necessary, you do those things and you most likely will be able to access the great advancements that are coming in the next 13 to 15 years. You've written more than 20 books on health issues, but you seem to be so emotional and passionate about stem cell breast reconstruction, even more than other medical topics that you talk about. Why is that? Well, I went after this, and because, um, you know, I'm a very confident woman, so it was okay to have, uh, you know, a lopsided figure, even though at um, times in my life, and maybe hopefully even today, I was considered sexy and a sex symbol and all that. I think women can stay sexy and keep their edge um, forever, indefinitely. It's, it's a state of mind. But, um, you know, one out of eight women is getting breast cancer, and they're about to readjust that. Cancer is the biggest killer in the world. The, the devastating diagnosis is one thing, and then the, the double whammy of losing a body part um, can do a person in. And uh, this to me, I am passionate about because it, it, it can be so helpful on a psychological level. And if your emotions are positive, you can heal better. 
But when you look down and you see nothing there and you don't feel um, like a woman, uh, it has a devastating psychological effect on you. And um, I think that this will be very helpful. I am very passionate about this. I'm equally as passionate about this as I am about uh, bioidentical hormones, which I believe I brought to the forefront, and also about alternative options for cancer. I just think that we each need to rethink the way we're taking care of our bodies. Suzanne, your story is an incredible one. You are truly an inspiration to so many women. If folks want to learn more about your experience with stem cell breast reconstruction, and if they want to learn also about your new talk show, Suzanne Summers Breaking Through, where can they go? Go to SuzanneSummers.com, and it's called Suzanne Summers Breaking Through. And I think this entire procedure is shown in episode one, and I think you'll find it not only informative, but extremely emotional, and um, I'm very proud of that show. Suzanne Summers, thanks so much. Thank you.